Titus, Titus 2. But speak the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in the belief, in love, in patience. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as is becoming, in the fear of Yahuwah, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their men, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own men, that the word of Yahuwah be not blasphemed. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded. In all things, showing yourself a pattern of good works. In doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters, and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of Yahuwah, our Savior, in all things. For the grace of Yahuwah that brings salvation has appeared to all men teaching us to reject that which is not of Yahuwah and worldly lusts. We should live soberly, righteously, and in the fear of Yahuwah in this present world. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great Yahuwah, Ha-Gadal, and our Savior, Yahusha HaMashiach, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise you.